Now that Nancy has finished her chores for the day, she can go upstairs and get a nice, peaceful night of sleep. Or not. This is a broadcast of the Hello? emergency notification system. There have been multiple reports of a tornado touchdown in the area. Uh oh. All listeners are advised to seek shelter until further notice. I'd better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Yeah, this sounds dangerous. Shoot, the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone is out there, right? Yeah, I heard something. Is anyone out there? Hello? Who's there? Hello? Whoa. You better look into that in the morning. Somebody was doing something around the coffee table, but that person disappeared. Let's go down into the cellar and investigate first thing tomorrow morning. Good morning. What did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty, those two could sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got noticed that the Ack people are going to exterminate them. Oh, no. What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. You're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn. But you're going to have to move quickly. I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. Okay, we have to save those prairie dogs and we have to move quickly. Only one person would be crazy enough to try to move prairie dogs by using a vacuum. And that's our buddy Chase. Got it. Great, thank you so much. I do it myself, but I'm buried in work right now. You're a lifesaver. Literally. Oh, it's all part of the job, ma'am. All part of the job. Hey, let's check out what was going on here. Anything cool happening on the coffee table? Oh, hey, it's a letter. It's a letter to Dr. Debbie. Oh, she's being offered a tenure track position. Nice. Congratulations, Debbie. Interesting. So where is this? Let me see. The tenure track position... Oh, it's in New York. So she's going to be moving from Oklahoma to New York? Well, if she accepts the offer, she's going to be moving to New York. Interesting. I wonder if Debbie is actually going to take this offer. Let's ask her and find out. Debbie! What's up? What do you want to do now that you've finished your degree? Actually, I... I'm not sure yet. I, I'm still kind of weighing my options. Oh, okay. That's it for now. Have fun! So maybe she'll move to New York, and maybe she won't. Let's watch some TV. Cool. TV, TV, TV. Previously on Are You a Detective? Andrew Morris, you are... Not a detective! Aw, oh, man. I was kind of hoping that my favorite TV show, Beach Detective, would be on. But it's not, so let's talk to Scott. Nancy, hi. Look, um, uh, Debbie tells me it would be good for morale if I gave people around here a few attaboys every now and then. So I just wanted to say you did a um, pretty fair job driving during the chase yesterday. Wow, it's almost like it hurts Scott to pay somebody a compliment. Thank you. Well, let's not get cocky. I mean, there's always room for improvement. For instance, when you're driving in a steady downpour, you should always... <laughs> ah! Did you see that? Mm hmm Did you see that? Those dagnabbit mice are everywhere, and I'm sick of it. So if you were wondering what your next job was going to be, now you know. Get rid of the mice in here. Just make sure you do it humanely, or Debbie will never let me hear the end of it. If you can get one of those Piper guys, or better yet, some kind of catch-and-release trap at that Mon Paw store. Just get it done, okay? Sure thing, boss. I was going to head to Mon Paw's anyway. See what's up with our buddy Paul. But first, let's see what's up with our buddy Chase. We need to save those prairie dogs. Hey there. I'm supposed to relocate those prairie dogs. How do I do that without hurting them? 
by using a handy dandy prairie dog vacuum I just invented, won't hurt one single hair on their fur little heads. At least it won't after I replace this tube with a bigger one. How soon are you supposed to move them? By the end of the day. Well, then get yourself over to Mom Paul's and trade this tube in for one that's a bigger size. I'll set you up as soon as you get back. Great, thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot, Chase. Anything else on your mind? Do you know a way I could earn some paw pennies? Tell you what, over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting up. Now, since I can't put the board used to, it's been wired up just right. How about for every board you wire up right, I pay you something in paw pennies? Of course, since wiring up wrong just makes more work for me. You make too many mistakes and I only pay you some of what you earned up till then. Depending on how you did. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Sounds great. Like my dad always said, best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime you want, just go on over there and start wiring up boards. There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. Anything else on your mind? Nope. I'll let you go. See you around. Alright, so what Chase was talking about is a little mini-game you can play if you want to. Right over here, it's fixing up those wet- This place could really use a cat. Yeah, there are mice all over this place. And the mini-game is fixing up the weather balloon circuit boards. Here are the instructions. Okay, let's try this out. The number on the fans tells you how many wires need to be coming out of that fan. For example, this one is a three, which means you should make three wires come out of the three fan. Makes sense, right? So, here's another three fan, so let's have three wires come out of it. And this is a two fan, which means it needs to have two wires, but we only have one so far. So let's make the second wire appear here, and that finishes the board. Okay, so this is a pretty simple enough puzzle. Just make sure you have all the wires you need, and you'll get a bunch of paw pennies in no time. Ready? And, um, I think that's it. Okay. Good, good, good. Now here we have a five. Five right over here, which is good because that's as many wires as we can possibly have coming from that one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty, I think I'm going to stop right here. Finish for now. I am real impressed with your work, man. You earn every one of those pennies. Ah, thanks, Chase. So, that's how you can get more paw pennies. And let me see. Let's go to Ma and Pa's general store. Ooh, what car should I take? Should I take the blue car? Should I take the pink car? Or should I take the totally crazy car with the satellite on top? Oh, I think you know which car I'm going to take. I'm taking the cool car. Driving it all the way to Ma and Pa's. 